Hello oh friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the last video, we have seen ladder logic programming for lamp required for quiz competition. Today we are going to do its HMI designing and also simulation. So let us start our Dopsoft HMI software from here. So now we will click on new files. For this project, we are going to use this screen resolution. Here I will write name of my project. Click on next button. Here you have to select your simulator or driver that you have created in COMGR. Click on finish button. So this is our workspace. First, we need to visualize that what we want to create. First of all, I will draw three tables. So for that, simply select this rectangular tool and draw a box like this. Double click over it. Let us change its color. Say for example, we are selecting this color. Click OK. Now my table looks like this. Here it is gradient. If you want to select fix, it will appear like this. Let it be gradient only. We can also change the background color, but right now it is suitable, so no need to change it. Click OK. You can see the color is changed. So what we want, we want same types of three tables. So just select it and right click over it. Select copy. Again, right click and select paste. So another table is also created. Similarly, I will create one more table. So again, right click and click on paste. So third table is also created. And adjust it according to your screen. In each table, we want one button and one lamp. So for that, so go to buttons and select momentary. Now here we will draw a box like this. Double click over it. Here we will write address. So this is our table one. So for table one, we have used x0 address at our PLC. So click enter. So address is given. Now we will change its shape to round. So from here, select round style. So now style is changed to round. This is our off state. So in the off state, my button should be unpressed. So from here, I will select one modern button library. And from here, we select this as an unpressed condition. And if the switch is pressed, it will appear like this. So for zero state, I will select this image. Click OK. If you can, if you can't see your button properly over here, go to stretch mode and select stretch all. Now the button is properly visible. Similarly, for pressed condition that is state one, we will go to same library. For pressed condition, I will use this image. Click OK. Again, if the button is not visible, click stretch all from here. And now the button is visible. Click OK. So now my button is created. So if you want to save time and don't want to repeat these steps, just copy paste it from Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Place it to other tables. But don't forget to change its address. So simply click over it. And from here you can see its address. Click here and change it to x1. Similarly, click over here. Similarly, select this button. Click over here and change its address to x2. Now, as you remember, we also want one reset button for host. So for that, we also want one table. So let us select rectangle from here. Draw a box like this. 
double click over it and change its color to this. Here we want one reset button for post. So again copy paste this, drag it to here. Again change its address. So select it and here we will write x3. So if you remember in the hardware programming x0 is for table 1, x1 is for table 2, x2 is for table 3 and x3 is reset button. Now we want three output lamps over here. So for that go to indicators, select multi state indicator and draw a box like this. Just it to here. Leave some space here to write its name and similarly also leave some space over here to write this lamp name. Now double click over it. Again we want round output so here we will select round and first of all we will give its address. So outputs are connected to Y and the first output is Y0 at table 1. So enter. Now for off condition we want to give one picture so go to pictures. And from here select a library. So here I will select modern lamp 2 state library. From here for the off condition I will select this image. Click OK. If the output lamp is not visible then click to stretch all. Now it is visible properly. Similarly select the image for on state. So again go to same library and for on state we will use this image. Again click on stretch all so that output lamp is visible properly. Click OK. So now our output is created. So again in order to save time I will just copy paste it, drag it to respective tables. But don't forget to change its address so select it. Here we will write Y1. Select it. Here we will write Y2. So all the required things are created. We just need to name these objects. So for that we will select text box from here and draw here like this. Double click over it, go to text, here you can format your text like changes its size, creating bold, changing color and writing here text. So here I will write, this is my button 1. We want to align its center, horizontally center, so here I will select horizontal center and click OK. So as you can see. The text is created but we also want to change this background color which is white over here. So double click over it. From the foreground color select this and click OK. Again click OK over here and you can see the background is matching to table color. Similarly we will use this text for other elements so just select and copy paste it. we will change each text like this double click over it go to text and here we will write lamp 1 click ok go to text and here we will just change 2 and click ok so it is button 2 here again double click go to text here write lamp 2 click ok Again here, we will just change here to 3, click OK. Again here double click, go to text, 
here we will write lamp 3 okay again here here we will write reset button click okay as it is not visible properly we need to increase its box size similarly we will write over here table name so again select text box from here and draw a box like this double click over it go to text change format as per your requirement and here write your text like this click ok and again i will copy paste it Double click over it to change the table name. Click OK. Here I will write table 3. Click OK. Now we will adjust this to center. So now as you can see we have completed our HMI designing so it's time to simulate this project so for that open your ladder programming in ISPSoft first of all you have to start your CONGR from here select your simulator and click on start so it is started just close this now here we need to compile our project from here so as there are no errors now we can download it to our simulator from here so click over it click on transfer button our code is downloaded to simulator click close now go to online mode from here don't forget to enable this bit for doing simulations now click on run button click yes and here you can see our simulator is run state open our dopsoft hmi and click on offline simulation from here so friends our hmi screen is loaded let me adjust it to here We will consider each case. So let us say first of all, table number one presses the switch before table two and table three. So let us see what will happen. As soon as the contestant at table number one presses this button one, so here the pulse will come and this Y0 will be on. So let us see. You can see here pulse was created and our output y0 is on which is also reflecting in our hmi screen these are off and this lamp is on now in this condition if the participants on the other table presses their switches like this their button won't on you can see over here i am pressing this switch x1 is becoming on but our y1 is not becoming on similarly if the participant at table 3 presses the button you can see x2 is becoming on but y2 is not becoming on because our lamp 1 is on and that's why here there is no continuity in its nc contact so this is the interlocking if lamp 1 is on then lamp 3 cannot be on similarly here you can see lamp 1 is on so even if I press this button x1 has continuity but y1 lamp will not on. The anchor wants to ask another question so he wants to reset this lamp so for that here I will press this button and here pulse will created which will reset our output y0 let us see as soon as I am pressing this button you can see this y0 is off 
and lamp is off from HMI screen also. Now you can see here the continuities came back. Similarly, if the participant at table 2 presses the button before other participants, then what will happen? So I will click over here. As you can see, the pulse was created and our lamp 2 is on. Here also you can see lamp 2 is on. Now, as the lamp 2 is on, here you can see there is no continuity. So even if press this X2 button, that is button 3 from here, will not on. And similarly here, if the lamp 2 is on, I will press this button. You can see the pulse is created over here, but it will not on. Again, if I press this reset button, then it will become off. And similarly, if the button 3 is pressed, this will be on. So at this condition, if I press this button, that lamp will not on. And now, if the anchor wants to ask another question, then he will, he or she will press this button and this output will be resetted like this. You can see Y2 is resetted and all the lamps are off now. So friends, this was all about our project lamp for quiz competition. If you are liking our content and want to learn more example like this, show your support by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel automationcommunity.com. Meet you in the next video.